Good morning to all. Uh, myself, Obi Croy from the Mathematics Icon Channel, your mathematics teacher. In this uh, lecture, actually, we are going to start a very new concept uh, regarding the differentiation chapter. Okay, just uh, in the last uh, lectures, uh, uh, so far I know that uh, the implicit function differentiations were discussed. Okay, so from today onwards, we are going to start a new concept which is very, very important for the board exams as well as for the entrance exams also. Okay, this concept is very, very important. ओके इम्प्लीसिट फंक्शन डिफरेंसिएशन खत्म है अभी होगा कि लॉगरिदमिक फंक्शन का डिफरेंसिएशन जो है वो कैसे होता है लॉगरिदमिक फंक्शन ओके तो यहां पर देखो लॉगरिदमिक फंक्शन जो है यहां पर लॉग यूज होगा यहां पर तो आपको समझ ही आ रहा है यहां पर ठीक है तो यहां पर लॉग अगर यूज करें तो हम लोग डिफरेंसिएशन जो है वो कैसे करेंगे वो हम लोग यहां पर डिस्कस करेंगे दैट मींस इस लेक्चर में डिस्कस करेंगे आपको ये लेक्चर जो है पूरा देखना है जिससे आपको जो बोर्ड एग्जाम है या फिर एंट्रेंस एग्जाम है है फायदा मिले ठीक है ये सब बेसिक लेवल का क्वेश्चंस होता है और एंट्रेंस में हम लोग अपर लेवल का क्वेश्चंस करेंगे और बोर्ड लेवल का भी क्वेश्चंस यहां पर करेंगे ठीक है तो आज जो है हम लोग इस कांसेप्ट को रिलेटेड Okay, we are going to discuss uh, the logarithmic function differentiation. Okay, so if you have any doubt or any confusion regarding this uh, logarithmic function, then you can uh, ask me in the comment section. Then I will uh, give the answers as well. Okay, uh, actually I am uh, just uh, I'll try uh, to give uh, you the best effort from my side. Okay, so now logarithmic function क्या होता है? सबसे पहले ये समझना जरूरत होता है. कब हम लोग ये log यूज करेंगे कब हम लोग ये समझ में आएगा हम लोग को कि हम लोग को लॉग यूज करके ही करना है ठीक है अच्छा यहां पर देखो सपोज यहां पर आ, कोई भी एक फंक्शन दिया गया है ठीक है फंक्शन में तुम देख रहे हो कि एक वेरिएबल होगा वेरिएबल को ऊपर पावर जो होगा ना वो पावर पावर भी वेरिएबल ही कुछ ना कुछ होगा ठीक है जैसे एक एग्जांपल में बोल रहा हूं सपोज यहां पर x2 यहां पर ये तो वेरिएबल है ठीक है बट स्क्वायर इज व्हाट कांस्टेंट कांस्टेंट ठीक है बट अगर ऐसा हो x टू द पावर x x टू द पावर x यहां पर देखो ये भी वेरिएबल है पावर जो है वो भी वेरिएबल ही है तब हम लोग यहां पर लॉगरिथमिक एक्सप्रेशन यूज करेंगे यहां पर पावर का फार्मूला हम लोग यूज नहीं कर पाएंगे क्योंकि वेरिएबल के ऊपर वेरिएबल पावर रहे उसका कोई भी फार्मूला यहां पर डिफरेंशिएशन में नहीं है ठीक है तो दैट मींस यहां पर ये जो लेक्चर है पूरा आप लोगों को सुनना है बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर होता है ठीक है सपोज हम लोग जैसे ddx ऑफ x2 लिखते हैं सपोज ddx ऑफ x2 देन इफ यू यूज द x टू द पावर n फार्मूला दैट इज 2x to the power 2 minus 1 that means nx to the power n minus 1 formula uh, just we have to use okay now ddx of x to the power x ye formula use nahi kar sakte that means ye formula hum log use nahi kar payenge theek hai kyunki yahan par ye jo formula banaya gaya hai this formula is for the constant power not for the variable power okay so if you have this variable expressions in the power then you have to use this logarithmic expression you have to use the log on both side okay without using this log you can't proceed okay so that means if you want to solve this type of questions then this logarithmic expressions related concept should be known to everyone okay so i think uh, logarithmic expression and log functions uh, all of you know very well eh, how to use this log and what are the characteristics of the logarithmic functions okay different types of logarithmic expressions are there and uh, the characteristics are different okay so the basic uh, uh, difference is uh, actually this basic uh, uh, thing of this uh, logarithmic expression is if you have any two terms in the multiplication form with the log then log a plus log b we can write log a plus log b log a by b these are all basic level logarithmic expression characteristics log a minus log b then log a b base is a power is b that means log b by log a these are all actually the characteristics of the logarithmic functions okay so for log uh, x okay kuch nahi hai base kuch nahi hai that means e hoga yahan par kuch base nahi hai that means e hoga that means log x by log e 
लॉग ई का वेल्यू तो आंसर वन होता है इसलिए अल्टीमेटली हम लोग उसको लॉग एक्स ही लिखते हैं ठीक है कुछ बेस नहीं है दैट मीन्स क्या है ये लॉग ई दैट मीन्स बेस तो ई होगा यहाँ पर कुछ लिखा नहीं होगा कुछ में ऐसा हो सकता है इट इज पॉसिबल दैट द बेस बेस पार्ट विल नॉट बी गिवन देन यू हैव टू कंसिडर दैट द बेस विल बी ई लॉग ई ओके पावर वॉट एवर इट इज वॉट एवर द पावर इट इज जस्ट यू हैव टू कंसिडर द बेस एज ई हेयर ओके अच्छा यहां पर हम लोग देखो जैसे सपोज एक डेफिनेशन लिखो डेफिनेशन लिखो जस्ट गिव द हेडिंग डिफरेंसिएशन ऑफ लोगर एजमिक डिफरेंसिएशन ऑफ डिफरेंसिएशन डिफरेंसिएशन ऑफ लोगर एजमिक लोगर एजमिक एक्सप्रेशन एक्सप्रेशन ठीक है लोगर एजमिक एक्सप्रेशन इफ a function fx will be in the form will be in the form like u to the power b where u equals to some function b is also that will be another function other function but will not be constant other function then fx equals to u to the power b okay so fx means y y equals to u to the power b then you have to use log on both side log y and log u to the power b and the very basic concept of this log expression is if you have this log x square then whatever the power with this power then this will come to the front that means 2 log x ab x ke upar x power hai that means x aa jayega samne hai ki nahi so that means x ke upar koi bhi power hai yahan par kuch bhi ho log ka power kuch bhi ho uske upar power jo rahega wo power jo hai wo samne aa jayega hai ki nahi so that means yahan par log y equals to ye bhi jo hai wo kya hoga samne aa jayega bhi ye aur bhi ke jab jagah yahan par kuch bhi ho sakta hai anything is possible log u v log u now you can use the differentiation with respect to x on both side ddx of log y okay and ddx of b log u now you can proceed okay now you can proceed to the next part next uh, actually next uh, step okay right okay okay now if i take an example here if i take an example just write an example <clears throat> write an example okay uh find find dy by dx if y equals to x to the power x okay this is the question now you have to find dy by dx in the denominator dx is there that means we have to take the differentiation with respect to x only so here given y equals to x to the power x here you can see this is the formation actually u b okay now if you take before using the differentiation part you have to use this log on both side log x to the power x that means log y ye x kya ho jayega that will come to the front that means log x x log x now you can use ddx on both side ddx of log y and ddx of x log x ddx of log y now you can see ddx of log x formula is 1 by x if you have this y in place of x then you have to write 1 by y but but in the last part dy by dx should be written because this is the y expression and you are differentiating with respect to x then dy by dx expression should be written in the last part okay so that means 1 by y dy by dx okay and x log x u b formula will be used x ddx of log x into log x ddx of x So that means x, g x of log x formula is what? One by x, 
and log x ddx of x means 1. So that means ultimately 1 plus log x. So here the dy by dx value because you have to find the dy by dx value. Okay. So here in the left hand side I think 1 by y dy by dx is there. And in the right hand side 1 plus log x is there. So that means dy by dx equals to y diagonally multiply kar do right side me chala jayega y ab y ke jagah me dekho from the given question y ke jagah kya likh sakte hain x to the power x 1 plus log x that will be the value of dy by dx it is the answer just in, in place of y you have to put the original expression x to the power x okay so you can't left this y just like that uh, y no so that means if you have the y equals to anything, any expression uh, may be given in the question, just you have to replace this y by the given question. Okay? Given expression. Another example. Or be example, let them example. Suppose y equals to y equals to x to the power sine inverse x. X to the power sine inverse x. Here you can see variable variable okay so take this log on both side log y and this side log x to the power sine inverse x so sine inverse x jo hai wo samne aa jayega aur ye log x idhar hoga log y to hai left hand side mein now take ddx on both side ddx of log y and ddx of sine inverse x log x here u b formation is there here the same thing 1 by y dy by dx because log y differentiation is 1 by y and this y differentiation is dy by dx u b sine inverse x ddx of log x plus log x ddx of sine inverse x so 1 by y dy by dx equals to sine inverse x ddx of log x means what 1 by x plus log x ddx of sine inverse x it is a direct formula 1 by root over 1 minus x square so dy by dx equals to y into sine inverse x by x plus log x by root 1 minus x square now in this place in this y you have to write the original one that is x to the power sine inverse x bracket mein rehega sine inverse x by x plus log x by root over 1 minus x square. Okay? That will be the first thing. That will be the answer. x to the power x to the power sine inverse x, sine inverse x by x plus log x by root over 1 minus x square. Okay? That means the ultimate thing is that if you have any expression, if you have any expression like this, that means variable power and the variable exponent then you have to use the log on both side and after using this log you have to take the differentiation with respect to x if you want to find dy by dx value okay now <clears throat> next or it later suppose sometime uh, some student used to take uh, this thing suppose uh, if you have this question e to the power sine inverse x e to the power sine inverse x may be बहुत सारे student है ये formation use कर देते हैं बहुत सारे log ले लेते हैं ठीक है यहां पर e is it a variable it is not a variable sine inverse x is variable it, e is not variable that means you should not use this log on both side yes you can solve this question by using this log on both side but it is not necessary okay so you can take you can take this log on both side that will be useful no problem but you are not so bound to take this log on both side okay just literally just you have to take this log on both side in that type of questions where the variable powers and the exponent will also be a variable then you should take the log expression on both side so here if you have this question like y equals to tan inverse x whole by sin x now you can see variable variable power now you should take this log on both side that means tan inverse x whole to the power sin x now 
log y sin x will come to the front and this log 10 inverse x okay now if you take ddx on both sides log y and this ddx of sin x log 10 inverse x now 1 by y dy by dx this part will be same in every question u d so that means sin x ddx of this log 10 inverse x plus log 10 inverse x ddx of sin x okay now dy by dx 1 by y is also there equals to sin x now you can see here in this uh, differentiation part ddx of log x what is the formula 1 by x so here you have log tan inverse x that means in place of x tan inverse x is there that means you should write the same thing 1 by tan inverse x but after that ddx of tan inverse x should be written whatever the terms in place of x will be written in the question the, that part should be differentiated in the last part always remember this thing here in place of x tan inverse x is written x ke jaga tan inverse x likha hua hai that means tan inverse x ka differentiation aapko nikal ke dikhana parega okay? so that means 1 by tan inverse x to likhen fir ddx of tan inverse x should be written log tan inverse x ddx of sin x to means cos x hum log jante hain sabhi jante hain so now <coughs> sin x ddx of tan inverse x is ka direct formula hai 1 by 1 plus x square or already tumhare paas to tan inverse x pe ek hai plus log tan inverse x or into cos x okay now ye jo left side mein jo do 1 by y hai usko leke chale jao right side mein so dy by dx equals to y idhar kya hoga 1 by 1 plus x square tan inverse x plus cos x into log tan inverse x ye hota hai aapka answer ab y ke jagah ye value put karke dena hai ab y ke jagah agar ye value put karke nahi denge aap log half mark ho sakta hai deduct ho sakta hai it, eh? it is possible that uh, half mark hmm, uh, supposed to be deducted from the last expression Okay, so that means tan inverse x whole to the power sin x should be written and the rest of the things will be same 1 by 1 plus x square tan inverse x plus cos x log tan inverse x. Let it close. This is the final answer. Okay, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. Okay? Then, there is a lot of examples. Hai. <clears throat> now, suppose y equals to y equals to sin inverse x whole to the power x sin inverse x whole to the power x here yeah, sin inverse x is variable or x is also a variable that means log y equals to log sin inverse x whole to the power x that means log y x log sin inverse x okay so now 1 by y just uh, take the differentiation on both sides ddx of log y and ddx of x log sin inverse x okay so here the same thing 1 by y dy by dx rather u or here pura p agree that means x ddx of log sin inverse x plus log 
sin inverse x d d x of x. Okay. Now one by y d y by d x equals to x. ये कितना expression log एक sin inverse x दूसरा तो पहले log का करेंगे that means one by sin inverse x d d x of log x means ये x होता है one by x लिख लिया फिर d d x of क्या sin inverse x आपको लिखना पड़ेगा that means log sin inverse x और d d x of x तो one है no need to write so d y by d x equals to x by sin inverse x और ये हो जाएगा formula ये direct formula है one by root over one minus x square okay फिर plus log साइन इनवर्स एक्स ठीक है बस ये तो हो गया फिर लास्ट लाइन में आपको सिर्फ ये वाई के जगह जो ओरिजिनल है वो बिठा देना है सो डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू साइन इनवर्स एक्स होल्ड टू दी पावर एक्स और ब्रैकेट में ये पूरा एक्सप्रेशन फिर से लिख दो एक्स बाई रूट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर साइन इनवर्स एक्स प्लस लॉग साइन इनवर्स एक्स ओके इस डी एक्सप्रेशन, ओके? तो ये है फाइनल आंसर, हम्म? वेरी सिंपल, है कि नहीं? हम्म? अच्छा, फिर उसके बाद हम लोग, हो गया? बेटा दे उसको, हम्म? देखते हैं इस वेरिएबल को ऊपर वेरिएबल पावर रहेगा, जहाँ पर भी आपको दिखाई दे वेरिएबल को ऊपर वेरिएबल पावर, देखते हैं इस यू हैव टू यूज़ you have to use this log on both sides. Without using this log, you can't proceed to the next one, next part or next step, whatever it is. Okay. Now, now, y equals to suppose sine x to the power x plus x to the power x. Okay. Now you can see. Both the expression have the variable power, but but one change is there and change is middle में देखो plus है दो different different expression है. If you have these two expressions individually and the plus or minus sign in the middle, then you can't use this log on both side directly. Okay, just remember this thing. If you have this expression, this type of expression, both the expression are in the form u to the power b, but in the middle plus sign is there. So at first, this plus sign, actually you need not to consider this plus sign which is in the middle of these two expressions. If you have, if you have this plus sign in the middle, then at first you have to split the terms. After splitting the terms, then you have to use this log on both side. How? Just like that. Let is to equation number one then. Let u equals to sine x to the power x and v equals to x to the power x. Split कर दे हम लोग अलग-अलग से करेंगे फिर उसके बाद जो आंसर आएगा equation number one में direct बिठा देंगे ठीक है अच्छा यहाँ पर देखो बहुत सारे अब तो ले सकते हैं log log sine x to the power x तो यहाँ पर बहुत सारे अगर ddx करें ddx of log u और इधर d d x of क्या log यहाँ पर x सामने आ जाएगा x log sine x x तो सामने आ जाएगा ना फिर ये u है that means one by u d u by d x है कि नहीं क्योंकि यहाँ पर u का expression है with respect to x that means d u by d x should be written और according to the log x formula one by u should be written so u v formula that means x d d x of log sin x plus log sin x d d x of x so that means 1 by u d u by d x equals to x log sin x that means how many expressions are there 1 2 first one is log second one is sin that means pehle log ka expression ka yaha pa differentiation karna hai log x whole thing is x that means 1 by sin x then ddx of sin x should be found 
ओके प्लस लॉग साइन एक्स डी डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स तो वन होता है नो नीड टू राइट ठीक है नहीं सो दैट मींस डी यू बाय डी एक्स ये जो वन बाय यू है यू करके राइट साइड में लेके चले जाओ और एक्स डी डी एक्स ऑफ साइन एक्स को देख क्या है कॉस एक्स कॉस एक्स तो कॉस एक्स बाय साइन एक्स कॉट एक्स हो जाएगा प्लस लॉग साइन एक्स बस ये हो गया आंसर जस्ट लास्ट लाइन में आपको यू के जगह धुल बिठा देना है सो डी यू बाई डी एक्स डी यू बाई डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू यू क्या है साइन एक्स टू दी पावर एक्स और ये एक्स कॉट एक्स प्लस लॉग साइन एक्स ओके ये है डी यू बाई डी एक्स का आंसर नाउ इट्स टाइम टू सॉल्व द भी पार्ट भी इक्वल्स टू वॉट एक्स टू दी पावर एक्स नाउ टेक दिस लॉग ऑन बोथ साइड लॉग भी एंड दिस लॉग एक्स टू दी पावर एक्स दैट मीन्स लॉग भी एक्स लॉग एक्स Okay, now take the differentiation on both side with respect to x, dx. So it will be one by b, dv by dx, and u b, x, dx of log x and log x, dx of x. So dv by dx equals to x into one by x plus log x, or either b or. भी जगह एक्स टू दी पावर एक्स बिठा दो वन प्लस लॉग एक्स ये हो गया डी बी बाई डी एक्स का आंसर ओके सो डी यू बाई डी एक्स भी निकल गया डी बी बाई डी एक्स भी निकल गया है ठीक है अब आओ इक्वेशन नंबर वन सो फ्रॉम वन सो फ्रॉम वन अब सो फ्रॉम वन फ्रॉम वन y इक्वल्स टू इसको तो हम लोगों ने u लिया था इसको हम लोगों ने भी लिया था u प्लस बी अगर मैं बोथ साइड डिफरेंशिएशन करूं डी डी एक्स ऑफ वाई डी डी एक्स ऑफ u एंड डी डी एक्स ऑफ v तो ये हो जाएगा dy वाई बाई डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू डी यू बाई डी एक्स प्लस डी वी बाई डी एक्स डी यू बाई डी एक्स का वैल्यू तो निकाला है ना आपको अल्टीमेटली तो डी यू बाई डी एक्स का वैल्यू यहां पर पता है बिठा दो साइन x टू दी पावर x x cot x plus log sin x ये हो गया d u by d x और d b by d x का क्या होगा x to the power x one plus log x ये हो जाएगा आपका final answer d y by d x का answer ठीक है that means in the in the beginning just we had solved the questions where the single expression was there x to the power x Sin x to the power x, tan inverse x to the power x, just like that. But here in this question, you can see the expressions are same, but the two different different expressions are there and the plus sign in the middle. Then you can't choose this log on both side directly. Okay? If you have this type this type of questions, then at first individually you have to solve the expressions. Two expressions, it may be three expressions also. Okay? So individually you have to solve. du by dx, dv by dx, and then after that, from one, just you have to proceed like that. du by dx, just like that. Okay, and uh, after uh, uh, putting the values of uh, du by dx and dv by dx, you will get the final answer. Okay, huh? can you remember this thing? Okay, now <clears throat> next, next take jump. ये सब आपको एनसीआरटी में मिलेगा है कि नहीं और सिक्स सपोज वाई इक्वल्स टू वाई इक्वल्स टू साइन एक्स टू दी पावर कोस एक्स प्लस कोस एक्स टू दी पावर साइन एक्स जस्ट लाइक दैट सेम थिंग Two different expressions are there. Plus sign in the middle. Just let u equals to sine x to the power cos x. V equals to cos x to the power sine x. Here also, both the expression are in the form u to the power v. That means variable ko par variable power. Okay. Now individually you have to solve log u. And this uh, cos x, सामने आ जाएगा log 
sin x. Now 1 by u, du by dx, that will be same for each and every portion. Now ddx of, ddx of cos x, cos x into log sin x, log sin x. So 1 by u, du by dx equals to u, b. Okay? So that means cos x, ddx of log sin x plus log sin x ddx of cos x. So du by dx u cos x ddx of log sin x means what? Log x that means 1 by x and after that ddx of sin x should be written plus log sin x ddx of cos x means minus sin x. But remember this thing, this sin x and this sin x will not be in the multiplication form. This is the another expression. This whole expression is the is uh, one expression and this is the another expression. Just remember this thing. You should not multiply this sin x and this sin x. Eh? Most of the students used to uh, make this actually this uh, uh, actually used to do this wrong concept. Used to do this wrong thing. Okay. Just actually, actually this sin x is the different expression. Log sin x is different. Okay, so you actually you should not multiply here this two sin x. Remember this thing. And so in place of you, sin x to the power cos x should be written. Okay, and here cos x by sin x is cot x. Ddx of sin x means what? Cos x. Plus, here plus minus minus sin x into log sin x. So it is your du by dx. du by dx value. It is your du by dx value. Okay? Okay? Got it? Now, the b part. The same thing will be happened. Same thing will be happened. Just uh, keep this safe. That means du by dx. This part, you have to keep this safe. And rest of the part should be erased from this part because uh, we have to solve the v part here. Okay. So, v equals to what? Cos x to the power. Cos x to the power sin x. Same thing. Log v and the sin x log cos x. That means 1 by v dv by dx. U into v formula will be used. That means sin x log cos x differentiation is 1 by cos x and cos x differentiation is minus sin x plus log cos x u v hoga na per ddx of sin x. Thora direct likh liya yaha thora ek step jo hai skip kar diya hai. Thik hai? Ddx of ye v ko diagonal uthar leke chale jau. Ye ho jayega 10x aur ye ho jayega sin x saamne ek minus sin a jayega ye minus aur plus ddx of sin x means cos x. Cos x ko saamne lik lo, log cos x ho jayega. Aur b ke jaga bhi lik do, ye jo hai aapka cos x to the power sin x. Aur ye minus sin x into 10x plus cos x log cos x. Thik hai? To ye nikal gaya aapka dv by dx ka jala. Thik hai? Ho gaya? ठीक है तो देखो यहां पर du by dx का वैल्यू भी निकल गया dv by dx का वैल्यू भी निकल गया नाउ फ्रॉम 1 फ्रॉम 1 हो गया मिटा दे उसको ठीक है 1 2 3 4 5 लिख लो जल्दी ओके now, from 1, from 1, from 1, is me kya hoga? y equals to u plus b, ye u, ye b ya tha na mongoni, so that means both side agar mein differentiation karun with respect to x, to du by dx plus dv by dx, aisa aega, thik hai, pas du by dx ka bhelo, bitha do, dv by dx ka bhelo, bitha do for a final answer so that means dy by dx equals to dy by dx is here 
sin x to the power cos x cot x into cos x minus sin x log sin x plus dv by dx e cos x to the power sin x cos x to the power sin x minus sin x tan x plus cos x log cos x बस हो गया तो ये हो गया आपका फाइनल आंसर फाइनल आंसर डी वाई बाई डी एक्स का दे लो यहां पर निकल गया थोड़ा लंबा है पर यही निकालना है ऐसे ही निकालना है आपको ओके okay? हो गया ठीक है फिर और एक एग्जांपल लेते हैं हम्म और एक एग्जांपल लेते हैं ठीक है फिर नेक्स्ट वाई इक्वल्स टू वाई इक्वल्स टू सपोज रूट साइन एक्स होल टू दी पावर एक्स रूट साइन एक्स होल टू दी पावर एक्स तो इसको क्या करेंगे वाई इक्वल्स टू रूट मतलब पावर हाफ है ये हम लोग जानते हैं साइन एक्स टू दी पावर हाफ इन टू एक्स पावर पावर मल्टीप्लाई होता है ठीक है नहीं तो देख मीन्स वाई इक्वल्स टू हाफ उठा के पावर हाफ आएगा ना देख मीन्स रूट हटा के देख मीन्स साइन एक्स टू दी पावर एक्स बाई टू नाउ यू शुड टेक दिस लॉग ऑन बोथ साइड लॉग साइन एक्स टू दी पावर एक्स बाई टू देख मीन्स लॉग वाई ये एक्स बाई टू सामने ले लो और ये लॉग साइन एक्स नाउ टेकिंग डिफरेंशिएशन ऑन बोथ साइड विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स देख मीन्स डी डी एक्स ऑफ लॉग वाई और इधर डी डी एक्स ऑफ x by 2 log sin x 1 by y dy by dx equals to u d that means x by 2 ddx of log sin x plus log sin x ddx of x by 2 to yahan par kya hoga dy by dx ye y ko diagonal udhar leke chale jao इधर हो जाएगा देखो x बाई टू तो है ही लॉक साइन एक्स का डिफरेंशिएशन क्या होगा वन बाई साइन एक्स तो है ही अकॉर्डिंग टू द लॉक फॉर्मूला फाउंड एंड प्लस लॉक साइन एक्स तो है ही डी डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स बाई टू वन बाई टू तो कॉन्स्टेंट है बाहर लेके आ जाओ डी डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स मीन्स वन नो नीड टू राइट मीन्स डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इक्व टू वाई की जगह लिख दो जो भी है क्वेश्चन में रूट साइन एक्स होल टू दी पावर एक्स ये हो जाएगा एक्स बाई टू ये डी डी एक्स ऑफ साइन एक्स मीन वॉट कॉस एक्स तो कॉस एक्स इधर रहेगा नीचे साइन एक्स है दैट मीन्स कॉट एक्स और इधर लॉक साइन एक्स बाई टू फोर बाई टू होगा क्योंकि ये हाफ जो है पूरा एक्सप्रेशन के साथ मल्टीप्लाई है सिर्फ साइन के साथ मल्टीप्लीकेशन नहीं है याद रखना ज्यादातर स्टूडेंट जो है इसमें गलती करते हैं ठीक है तो ये आपका फाइनल आंसर ओके सो दीज आर ऑल एंड फॉर द बोर्ड लेवल एग्जाम्स ओके एंड एक्चुअली दिस इन इन एनसीआर बुक यू विल सी दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर देर जस्ट यू शुड सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द एनसीआर बुक है एंड इन द एक्चुअली दिस ऑन द रेंज दैट मीन्स वी हैड सॉल्व एक्चुअली डिफरेंसिएशन ऑन द रेंज जस्ट सी द लेक्चर्स ओके सो ऑन दट रेंज दैट मीन्स ऑन दैट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वट एवर द क्वेश्चन आर गिवेन इन द एनसीआर टी पार्ट एनसीआर टी बुक दो क्वेश्चन आर ऑलरेडी इन द रेंज ओके ऑल दो क्वेश्चन आर वेरी मच इजी ओके दिस आर ऑल बोर्ड स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन एंड विच क्वेश्चन आर नॉट कमिंग इन द रेंज दैट क्वेश्चन आर आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एंट्रेंस लेवल सो इफ यू जस्ट डिफरेंशिएटिंग ए फंक्शन ऑन ए रेंज देन आई थिंक दिस एनसीआर टी एक्सरसाइज शुड बी सॉल्व फर्स्ट इंक्लूडिंग द मिसलिनियस पार्ट ऑल्सो okay and after that for uh, actually for uh, uh, for getting prepared 
for JW mainly in advance, then you should solve the next phase. That means which questions are not coming in the range, just forcefully, just you have to bring them in, in, in the range actually. Then uh, I think that type of questions you should solve. Okay, so at first for the board level exams, NCRT book should be completed first. After that, but remember one thing, chapter wise, chapter wise job. Huh? Students, some students are thinking at first, let us actually let us solve uh, the NCRT book first. All the chapters should be solved from the NCRT book. After that, one by one uh, chapter should be touched from the reference book, depends from the Adi Sharma book. Don't do this thing. If you are doing, if you are solving one chapter, then you have to complete this chapter completely. Okay, just you should solve the different questions. At first, the NCRT questions should be solved. After that, the Adi Sharma questions should be solved. And after that, you should uh, uh, actually uh, pass to the, you should go to the next chapter. Okay, so I think as a, as a systematic study, as a science student, we have to be very much systematic and very much disciplined as well. Okay, so discipline in that manner that uh, if you are solving some questions, if you are actually just doing uh, some chapters here, just you have to complete uh, uh, the chapter completely. Okay, whatever the questions that you are getting from the different sources, you have to solve that questions, all the questions from my lectures, from the books, from NCRD, just you should solve all the questions and after that one note copy should be prepared and in that note copy all the questions and all the things should be should be what written hmm? in a very good manner okay and after that you should go for the next chapter as well but try to remember one thing you have to complete all the chapters completely okay actually such actually you should not uh, uh, solve uh, the questions and solve the things at first the NCRT books will be completed and after that the RD Sharma books will be completed. No. In the class 12 you are you will not get the sufficient time. You are not actually this getting sufficient time. Only uh, the pre-board exam will be there. Okay. So before this pre-board exam just try to complete the whole syllabus. Just a very short time is there. Yeah? And uh, in that time you have to do your uh, practical exam. You have to practicals. You have to do practicals. And the practical copy should be prepared. And uh, actually this uh, uh, many subjects are there for many subjects you have to complete all the syllabus all the subject syllabus okay so many responsibilities are there time is very short that means whatever the chapters is touched okay you have to complete the whole chapter as well just try to collect different questions board standard questions and standard questions from the different books okay uh, especially this NCRT and this Adi Sharma. Okay, for the board level exams, these two books are more than sufficient. No need to actually uh, touch the other books here. Okay, so whenever just you will uh, actually you will uh, take the preparation for the entire studies, then you should actually go for the reference books Adi Sharma, inclu including Adi Sharma. Okay, including Adi Sharma, just you have to solve the different books and the my material is also there. And just I am telling you that in my lecture for regarding the JW main and advanced level exams, okay, I will provide the almost 3000 solutions I mean, just uh, from actually for the, for the whole syllabus. Uh, from the whole syllabus, I will give you the 3000 solutions. Just you can see in the definite integral part and uh, this area bounded car from these two chapters. How many questions uh, are uh, are solved in my lectures? Just count it. Almost uh, 100 questions were done. 100 questions were done from the two chapters only. Okay, so just you can see 11th and 12th syllabus, the whole syllabus will have to be covered. Okay, just you can see for whole syllabus, how many questions will be covered from uh, in my channel, in my lectures. And after that, after some time, uh, the TPP will be provided, uh, the daily uh, practice set will be provided and just daily uh, uh, practice problems jo hota, DPP ye hum log provide karenge, dhere dhere hum log banayenge, iske liye time chahiye, thik hai? To next year mein jo DW main advance denge, un logo ke liye main thik tarah se prepare karunga, kyunki just nae nae channel hai, shuru kiya hai just 
I have no materials. Just I have to prepare the materials. I have to collect uh, the questions from the different books, from the different materials. Just I, I am just collecting. Okay. So just let me collect all the questions from the different sources. And after that, I will prepare a, a final DPP for my students. And including my solutions, including my solvings, just you will see that almost 3000, 2000 to 3000 solutions will be provided by me. Okay, which will be the useful one for the main and advanced level exams. Okay, just you have to uh, to practice well, you have to do, uh, just you have to listen the lectures properly, whatever the lectures will be going on uh, regarding the main and advanced level exams. You have to listen, you have to view all the lectures. Okay, you have to listen the lectures religiously, very much religiously. Okay, just remember one thing, very much, uh, just in, in your surroundings, okay, in your surroundings, very much uh, repulsive uh, forces will attract you. Just they want to actually pull behind. Hmm. They just, they want you to actually to come back and to come backward. But you have to step forward. Okay. Just as a student, as a science student, we have to face a lot of things, a lot of interventions, but we have to confront all the things and all the, all the situations. We have to just deal with the every situations whatever is uh, actually is confronted uh, uh, by me or by the science students as well okay so we have to pass all the things uh, just we have to uh, very much stick to your guns okay stick to your words and stick to your aims okay then i think after that uh, i think you will be succeeded you will get the success as well okay so in this in this lecture just uh, this is the actually this the actually the conversation and this the concepts uh, clearing session is there in this lecture in the next video this question whatever are done in the class in this lecture these questions are very very important for the board level exams okay just make a note copy and just uh, enlist all the all the questions and all the solutions whatever were uh, uh, provided yeah, in my lectures just write it okay and after that Relating to, uh, related uh, to these questions, you have to solve, you have to practice from the different books and from NCRT as well. Okay, and after that, after that, I think after some time, you will be very much confident in my subject, I am telling you. And from my side, all the chapters will be provided, all the chapter solutions will be provided uh, from the different so from the different books. Okay, different concepts, very, very important concepts and no concepts will be left in my lectures i'm telling you no concepts will be left in my lectures all the things and all the actual concepts and all the topics and all the things will be given to my students but but you have to stay connected with me okay just uh, just you have to believe on me right? so after believing uh, on me i think uh, i am uh, i will get some motivation and the inspiration from your side and i will make this type of videos in the nearest future also for your better result i am telling you okay so just till then and subscribe like and share my channel if you like my videos if you like my lectures then subscribe it okay and share with your friends also as so much as possible okay and uh, i am getting uh, the lot of uh, responses from the student side from you also uh, from you also okay so just uh, for that i am very much thankful to each and every subscribers each and every students of my uh, just of my channel so and for that just i want to extend my gratitude to all my viewers and all my subscribers as well and those who are not subscribed to my channel till now please subscribe my channel but they were viewing my channel but uh, they are not subscribing i don't know what is the reason but it may it may be actually it, uh, it is uh, uh, they um, may um, be thinking that uh, just like this uh, ch uh, this uh, uh, channel eh? uh, this growing up then after that we will subscribe please without your support i can't step forward okay so please subscribe my channel like my channel and uh, share and comment bhi kijiye like bhi kijiye har ek video mein like kijiye share kijiye fir subscribe kijiye red color ka button samne hai usko click kijiye bell icon ko bhi daba dijiye fir एंजॉय कीजिए क्लासेस ठीक है बाय जय हिंद